Welcome to Ravens Over. Please go to my channel, also hit the notification bell, like this video, and share it. Remember one thing I try to share with my two spirit sisters that there is something going on in the air. I don't know if you know about it, but it's kidnapping. Now, as a two spirit woman, we are on a cisgender world, which means that we are inclusive in the trafficking, kidnapping, and even murder. Now, the thing about it is that there is someone who's stopping in the van and stuff and basically setting you up. You don't realize they're sticking the needle in you and you fall down and collapse. Now, you collapse and stuff to get you to other location to take your clothes off and they won't be prepared for what they may see. You may end up in a situation that you're not aware of that ends up getting you murdered now a lot of times i don't know if they caught anyone as of yet of a kidnapping and done but we are being murdered on a alarming rate and your body will be found somewhere and you won't even it won't even consist upon the kidnapping that's found i feel like it is very important to you to realize that this information to be shared with you yes you are included in this as far as kidnapping and yes you can be killed by going to your car or going past the car you will be pulled inside and may even murder so i feel as though it is important that you know what is actually going on in this world when you park past cars trucks vans beware because this is the situation we're in right now you are important to me and i want you to share this video like this video and comment below and let me know how you feel about this what's up what's up how you doing how you been what's going on what's good are you getting it in somebody getting it for you what's going on people subscribe to my channel what's going on people it is the day of another day of another day that we call Wednesday. It would have been said, what's going to be, but hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world and then knocking down doors and making dreams come true and practicing ignore it. Now, this thing, I'm not going to be going to too much of this stuff as far as today because my pressure is so really high and I'm back to having those bleeds and stuff, which I shouldn't be doing because I did. That was my, um, pressure and you know I can't have a stroke because um <laughs> it's not funny. I can't have a stroke because I'm too much of a bitch. I don't want to stroke out and shit, but it is what it is. But on a serious note I want to share with you remember there's a lot of girls that you may not know that's going on. Um there is a ply on human trafficking and when I say this that means that a lot of women are being kidnapped into human trafficking. I want to share this with you only because of simple fact of the matter. I don't know if you know about it. Oh, God. I don't know if you know about it, but I want to share it with you. My phone's been ringing all day. It's, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so the thing is, what happens is, okay, I'm going to let you know. Just I want you to spread the word and stuff like that. You know, in reference to what's going on. Okay, like you go go to the store, you go to the mall, and you know, you're, um, or even on the foot, you will go past vans or cars. Now, what happens is, it'll be like a van or be like a car, be people sitting inside the car. Make sure you watch the cars around you. If you see a van, yeah, like beware. Been out here for hours. They are going door to door, knocking on everyone's doors out here, asking to see if they have ring doorbell video. Lots of ring doorbell cameras on this street, so they've been out here for hours just looking for more. A woman was heard screaming for help on a ring doorbell in Lamert Park Tuesday night. You can see the owners of the doorbell went outside to check out what was going on and then watched as a white hatchback appeared to drive off with the screaming woman. A neighbor who asked to remain anonymous heard the commotion. It was a little scary. It was kind of like if he was like attacking her and she was trying to like get out of his car but he wouldn't let her. LAPD officers were seen going door to door on 3rd Avenue near Obama Boulevard checking for more ring doorbell video. An officer told us they don't know yet if this was a domestic dispute or something else. The neighbor heard a woman and man arguing. The guy was telling her something like, oh, I'm sorry. I told you I was sorry. And she just kept screaming for help. And, and then that's when he kind of like just took her. 
and just drove off. Many neighbors are just now hearing about this incident, wondering if the woman lives on the street. The car that she was in, I've never seen her before. So we don't know who she was, if she was in the neighborhood, if someone was visiting her, we're not sure. Again, police do not know what this is all about. They're trying to figure out, was this a kidnapping? Was this a uh, domestic disturbance? What was this? That's why they are still out here trying Suspect to Suspect is 20 years old. His name is Travion Shields. He is being held on a $100,000 bond. The charge, aggravated kidnapping. His victim, 15 years old. I'm with Constable Alan Rosen. Your detectives are the ones that arrested him on Friday. We have video of that. How were you guys able to get onto him? This girl was being held against her will for 11 weeks. Well, thankfully, she was able to uh, get the suspect's phone and make a uh, reach out to her probation officer, who then contacted us and her mother contacted us. And that led us to, to, to get her. At this point, can you tell us how she's doing and where what she's up to at this point? Well, in any case like this, obviously, the most important thing is counseling. And so she's in a counseling program, and we're going to assist the family any way we can to ensure that it's a long-term uh, environment to where she's going to get back to, to living her life free of this fear. The beginning of this is troubling, perhaps for parents when they see this. Social media was used to find and get this girl, and in your words, groom her. Absolutely, and that's why it's so important for parents not to just allow their kids to sit in their rooms at 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night just sitting on social media. Get involved in your children's social media platforms. Turn it off. Take their phones. Do something because there are a lot of predators yeah, out there looking for kids. Girl fighting for her life as a man tries to force her into a strike by repeatedly hitting her with a hammer. That violent struggle all caught on camera. And for the first time, we are hearing from that victim. NBC 4's Tony Shin live in Riverside now where police are still searching for the suspect. Tony. Hey, Kathy, according to that 14-year-old victim, she was just walking down this sidewalk you see behind me, heading to tennis class at around 8.15 yesterday morning. When she passed by that bushy-looking tree, a man suddenly grabbed her. My parents have always taught us, you know, be brave and be confident and just know who you are. She is only 14 years old, so we are only identifying this teen as Estella. Surveillance video shows early Tuesday morning, while walking down Rutland Avenue, Estella came face to face with a man in a white truck who police say tried to kidnap her. He grabbed me by the neck with the, like, putting in a chokehold. He was like strangling me and I was struggling and he was telling me like, get in, get in. He started telling me, he was like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. And so that's when he started hitting me with the hammer. He hit me with the claw hammer on my head. Striking her multiple times on the head, Estella refused to give up, elbowing the attacker as hard as possible. He started choking me tighter and I felt like, I felt like I couldn't breathe anymore. That's when Estella says the man put down the hammer. So she grabbed it and struck him at least once on the arm. I didn't have much arm swing, but I just tried to do what I could. It was enough for him to let her go, and Estella ran as fast as she could as the kidnapper got back into his white Toyota Tundra and drove off. The coward could not handle a young kid, so he had to use a hammer, and it didn't work out for him. Estella's father says he couldn't be more proud of his daughter. Riverside police investigators also say she possibly saved her own life. It shows how brave this girl was. She had the wherewithal after to be able to work with the sketch artist, provide us a pretty good description of, of the uh, suspect and the vehicle. Estella says the man is a predator who needs to be put behind bars as soon as possible. Trying to ruin somebody's future by kidnapping them and taking them to go do God knows what. If you see a van, make sure you on alert. Spread it to your kids. What happens is, you're walking. Okay, I'm gonna give you a promise. I don't wanna confuse you. What happens is, okay, you come in from your store and stuff, and you go, you know, go from groceries and stuff, you have a car, and you go ahead and put yourself inside the car, and what happens is, somebody approach you, like, they'll say, oh, excuse me, do you have so-and-so directions, and you say, what? And they'll stick a needle in you, and what you do is you collapse. When you collapse, the other man pulls up and snatch you, put you inside, you're out, you're gone. You're being raped, you're being, God knows, or and probably even murdered, who knows how the value of this has been, but it's basically going on a lot more bigger than we think. Now, if you were a rich channel, somebody that already supported you back before, and they said that 64,000 black women were missing, 75,000 black women were missing, 
We talked about that before. Or I talked about it and I brought it to your attention. Of course, it's going to get you a little bit of volume, but I speak about it once again. Um, when you're a two-spirit woman, you have to understand you're not in the situation that you are not exempt, that a man may see you and God only knows what happened if there's one of us. You know, it could go intense or, you know, it could be even detrimental quicker for our souls. Because at the end of the day, we're not hearing of what's happened to us. And a lot of us look like, you know, sister and women. And what happens is we get put inside these vans. They take our clothes off and then we're in a situation where we end up murdered or, you know. So I don't know about anyone else, but I have to speak to my sisters because I know they're not... We're not inclusive in a lot of different things, but you know, your big sister has to have your back. And at the end of the day, you may say, well, that's going to the sister and the woman. You are now in that world. Surprise. You didn't know what was waiting for you, neither did I. But at the end of the day, I need y'all here. I need y'all more than you'll ever need me. Trust and believe, because I couldn't do this thing alone. So I need y'all to survive, and I need y'all to be aware of a lot of things that's going on in this world. So, um... I just wanted to share that part with you. I'm not going to stay in long because my pressures are really high. I've had... I'm going to talk to you about... Listen, just forget the... Listen, I have had a lot of people to speak to. A lot of people want to talk to me. It's, it's overwhelming for me. I love you guys, but it's really overwhelming for me. By the point where I don't want to talk anymore. Like, I'm really tired. My pressures are really high. I'm back to the nose, please. And I just want to make this video to make sure y'all are okay, you know what I mean? Because it is happening. It is someone that is sticking the needle in you, and you collapse. So if you see anybody around you coming around you, be aware. If somebody says, excuse me, don't just turn around. Just move out the way first, just in case. Because something is going on, and I need y'all here. Something is happening. And I don't know, a lot of girls, they say they get beat up, they get raped and stuff like that, and they get let go. Some of them probably not let go. Some of them even murder, some of them probably even the oceans, the sea. But y'all need to be aware this is happening, and it's around Christmas time. Um, I went to New York um, a few weeks ago back, and I had a guy follow me. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see him. Um, I'm not going to post that either. He was following me. I didn't know where he was following me. So he was following me. I saw him on the camera. Actually went to somewhere else. He turned. He thought I was going to make a turn. I didn't. He turned around and came back behind me. I don't know if he's human trafficking. I don't know what he was trying to talk to me. I don't know. But um, I realized by me having my camera with me, it kind of let me see a lot more than I would know. So if you're a girl that has a camera, you outside, make sure you hit pray, 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 play. Pray to play when you're around it by yourself. Just press play and record everything. Because I guarantee you this, something you're going to see in that camera you didn't see before. This has happened to me continuously where I found out things I didn't even see around me, but the camera picks it up. I just wanted to share this with you as far as you, Spirit Woman. I want y'all to be safe. I need y'all more here, more than you ever need me. Share this video. Like, subscribe, share. Um... And that's it. I can't. I wanted to say some more, but I can't because my pressure's up too high. I've been speaking to too many different people, and if I share with you, it's gonna make my pressure go to the point where I'm in that out through the video. So I can't share with you. I should have shared with you first before they hit me up. Everyone is concerned about me, this job, a dude, relationship with me that I'm not in and yet still in his mind he's in one he even brought the paperwork about me being in one so he's on the crazy list everyone's worried about what he's going to try to do to me and you know so much shit and at the end of the day it is what it is and when the when cis woman said well they're not real women you're poisoning people's minds and you're doing something to us to help us get murdered and then you sit back and act like well, I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't tell somebody you're sorry, but you got them killed. You can't. It is what it is, but... I just want to share this with you and stuff. And, like I said, be safe, but I just want to share with you human trafficking. It's been going on for a while, but now it's getting really intense. So, like I said before, like, subscribe to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. You follow me, I follow me back. I love you. 
and thank you for watching Kid Serena. All right, now come on, Raven, let's go on Instagram. Woo. Like I said before, if you are a woman, you consider yourself a woman, you are a two-spirit woman, this video is for you. They may not include you into it, I'm included to you now. You better be careful even more so, and you know why. At the end of the day, I have to look out for you, and hopefully you looking out for me. Like, subscribe, share, share the messages. We have to let these people know you're not going to take any of us and put us in the situation. Subscribe to my channel. Love you. Love you.